Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Blue Nomad Gaming Show. I'm your host, Timothy Rogers, the Blue Nomad. And if you'll forgive me, I'm recording in the day, so it looks like I am angelic. But I am not. I am the Blue Nomad, not an angel, but I am an avid Sonic comic reader. And excuse me, I'm also getting over a cold, so I will sound a little weird tonight. So what we're going to do today is go back and do some Sonic Speed rereading of comic books that I read when I was a child. So today we're on episode uh, issues three, Sonic 3. And uh, did I own this one as a kid? Yes, yes I did. I remember this one very vividly, so it was really cool to go back. I don't love this issue, but you'll find out. So let's go ahead and jump in the pages and let's see what happened. All right, looking at that cover, very good. I love the pun again. Love these early Archie covers because they made fun of themselves and all that stuff, and it was nice. But they're a little too self-referential, but that's fun. All right, let's move on to the actual comic. So the first one is called The Bomb Bugs Me, and it is very much a comic book about the threat of nuclear war and everything else. But it's not serious because this whole comic book issue is about a bug bomb. Uh, Robotnik has a bug bomb that he's bought, and the freedom fighters have to infiltrate Robot Robotropolis and find out if uh, what kind of bomb it is. But it's actually just because of that. So anyway, there's a long running gag with Walt, uh, Rotor dressing up as Robotnik back and forth, and then they find out they stole his bug bomb, and then of course Robotnik is annoyed at them. So anyway, if I could rate Sonic stories, that one would not even rank in the top 400. Uh, no, don't like it. But the second one is where this one starts to pick up because they grab a poor innocent bunny from a field and they start to robotize her. A poor country bunny, which I like because they mention that they go down south. And then Sonic destroys the machine halfway through. They pull her out and she's half robotized. And they find out that she is amazingly strong and can help them out because she's retained her free will but can still kick booty. And so that leads to her fighting this big burrow bot that they've unleashed in the tower. She helps Sonic, they help each other out. And they join the she joins the Freedom Fighters. So Bunny Rabbit has joined in issue three. All of a sudden, this issue goes from being terrible to awesome because the first appearance of Bunny is super cool. I love Bunny, and I love her as the series goes on. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, and we're going to go ahead and put a bow on it, and we're wrap it up and give it a grade.